After building up this rather attractive finish, we could just say, Do you know what, there we go, we're done. Let us put some hardware on. And that is what I've done in the past. But it's not shiny, really. And we can do better. Or well, not necessarily better, we can improve it slightly. And to do that, I'm going to use wire wool. Can you believe it? Now, I don't like wire wool. I really, really don't like wire wool. It is, it's an abrasive and it's pretty much a ubiquitous abrasive, uh, especially in furniture restoration and the like. And for many, many years, I, I've, I've used it, and unfortunately, I've got rather a large stock of it. Uh, now I've grown up a little bit, and I want to use it less, and I've got loads to get rid of. Uh, anyhow, it does do the job, though, albeit rather messily. The, the reason I don't like it is we build electric guitars, wire wool is wire, and when you use it, horrible little strands of the stuff go everywhere. And uh, this isn't ideal, but, uh, well, it does do the job. And I need to get rid of it, so we're going to be using it today. I'm going to stop talking, let's go and have a look at the guitar. Now, the trick with wire wool or steel wool is wear gloves, for starters. Uh, very fine little bits of wire cutting into you are not desirable, shall we say. And despite the temptation to just tear it off, don't do that. Uh, when you need a little bit, use a pair of scissors a sacrificial pair of scissors and that way you get less dust uh, if you tear it it just evacuates dust everywhere which isn't ideal now I'm using uh, 4.0 which is the finest wire wool I can find and literally the reason I'm doing this is I, I didn't want to fill the grain of this guitar. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to leave it as natural as possible and not mess with the colour at all. It's such a gorgeous piece of wood, and uh, the oil is ever so slightly rough to the feel, rough to the feel, rough to the touch, and uh, we're just going to smooth that off ever so slightly. A little hank of wire wool and uh, let us go. The other nice thing is that wire wool will conform to any curve and this is very gently just taking the sheen left by my well, that is just amazing. Matting it down. <clears throat> and it's, it's, it's ideal. You can see that there's very little dust left. I'm using the best quality steel wool that I can find, which is the Liberon stuff. And it's taking, well, it's, it's giving me the, the exact sort of finish that I require. And now I need to go on and do the entire guitar.
the entire guitar has been rubbed down very carefully and it's got a rather attractive matte sheen to it now. This is the nicest, finest wax polish you will ever have the pleasure to use. I absolutely love it. It might be a product of the petroleum industry, but frankly, I will forgive it all sins. This is a micro crystalline wax polish. It was developed uh, especially for museums and conservators to use uh, to protect fine artwork. It's it's used in every single major museum in the world. Uh, they cover oil paintings with it. They label it on statues. Uh, it is compatible with everything. It does not react to anything. Uh, the only thing that you can take it off with, and simply, <laughs> is uh, I think it's white spirit. Um, I need to read the gumph again, but uh, white spirit or thinners or something like that. And uh, and it comes off and leaves no residue. Uh, the nice thing is it gives you a really good finish, and it protects your instrument. <sighs> what more can you ask? And uh, I am now going to bring back the semi-gloss finish that we started with. But the end result is going to be better because the instrument is flatter. After a lot of elbow grease and time I'm getting a finish that I am happy with. I could be I could be automating this, I could be using a buffing wheel. It's not beyond the wit of men. However, I have more control. I have much more control over this. Simple technological marvel, a lint-free cloth. And I can see exactly what's happening. And this is an expensive guitar. This is it deserves to be done by hand. And I'm sure you agree, this is looking, quite frankly, rather stunning. Except for that bit. Hmm. I'm one very happy luthier.